So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another Swift UI video in which we're going to continue with our login form in Swift UI and let's just make it a little bit decent starting off with our very own logo. All right, so what you want to do first of all is just resize this little boy and I'm just going to say this is resizable and because I know the dimensions of this image, I'm going to give it a frame according to that and I'm going to give it a height of 150. Now we need to give it a width and a height both in order for spacers to work. And I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. And we also we are also going to give it an aspect ratio, which again, just pretty much means that we want to preserve the width according to the height or height according to the width. So its original dimensions are 305 by 502 which um, this aspect ratio would automatically calculate by dividing height by width and we want its content mode to to fit the container right and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for our image part and what i want now let's see what error do we have and it's not convertible okay so we have some random error but it should work yeah just like for that all right, so we have something like this, but what I want to do is instead of center alignment, I'm just gonna change this alignment of vertical stack to leading, right? Which is going to bring everything to its left. So once we do that, what we should be able to see is, it's kind of like slow while updating when I'm recording videos, otherwise it's, it's okay. -ish. All right, so anyway, so what we have right here is, um there we go right so okay so starting off again we're gonna leave this spacer alone because this is responsible for the background part which we just saw in the last video i'm gonna place this inside a edge stack because i want this to be center aligned and the way you can center align stuff in a leading alignment is by just making use of an edge stack and passing in two spacers and your element in between so that kind of like, if you can think about it, it crushes the element in between. So this left and right are both equal width spacers. All right, so once we have that done, we have our text field and uh, it's not very useful on its own right now. So let's just go ahead and add something like text username. And I'm just gonna give it a font of headline and a color of white, right? And similarly, I'm going to give this to password as well. Password. Oh, not this one. Password. And font is headline and color is white. Right. And maybe we, we're just going to split this as a different view in the coming videos. But I'm just going to keep it like this for now. All right. So once we have that, what, what I want to do is uh, we could actually pass in a placeholder to these as well if you want so i can just say that the username is i don't know let's just say john wick something like that which would be a placeholder for us and obviously you don't want a text field here you want something which masks your password that is displays all those stars or dots or whatever you want to call that and you can do that with secure field so we're gonna make use of placeholder again here and i'm just gonna say the password should be um, something very, very, very strong at the rate one, two, three, whatever, right? So you want a you want a kind of a different placeholder here, but anyway, it's gonna work for now. All right. Um, with that being done, we need a little bit of enhancement for our login button, right? I guess everyone would agree on that. So. All right, let's just give this a little bit of edge stack because I want this to appear in center as well. Oops, there we go. And what I'm gonna do is just increase the font size a little bit and I'm gonna give it a color of white too, right there. And uh, obviously because we want this in center, I'm gonna give it a spacer, throw in two spacers right here and that should do the job 
Then finally, what we want to do is give it a background of, let's say red, with a corner radius of five, right? And yeah, let's see how it looks like. All right, not bad, but we can definitely improve upon that. So what, what I want to do is give it a padding, first of all, padding, which would be just vertical padding because we don't need padding in horizontal direction because it's almost full width. And uh, yeah, let's see. All right, looks great according to me. Now, one little neat trick we could do is, as you see that we have already given it a background, what happens if I give a padding now? You're gonna see that it still covers the view, but you're gonna get that little kind of margin thing at the end. So what we could do is just give a padding now to horizontal and say this is like 40, which is going to create a 40 point gap from left and right, right? And finally, what we could do is, I mean, we could just give a padding right here to this vertical container itself. And then finally, we can give it a padding of that horizontal, horizontal here, so as to avoid this um, sticky edges of the label and the input fields right so once it's done i mean yeah it looks good to me right and now if we just go ahead and run this on a simulator we're gonna see that it kind of works just like that and yeah there's one minor flaw you need to include the bottom safe area edge as well otherwise it's not going to cover the complete background which is what we want obviously so once you add dot bottom to edges ignoring safe area you're good to go all right so once we do that we're gonna see that on a simulator we get our nice little application where we could pretty much just go ahead and write some text as username and for password whatever we write it appears masked because of the secure input so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one